Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we're gonna see how to create this glitch text animation that you can see in here using Adobe Photoshop and we're gonna also see how to use it as a template so we can apply the same effects without having to repeat the whole process again alright so let's get to it alright so let's go ahead and open Photoshop and then I will go to file new and I'm gonna create a new document with 1920 in the width, 1080 in the height, 72 in the resolution and RGB in the color mode. And for the background color, I have a black color selected. And of course, you can always change this width and height to whatever uh, settings you want. But for me, I'm just gonna keep these settings in here. And I hope it's okay. Alright, now I will select my text. And for the font I'm using it's called Century Gothic, bold, and for the size it's 200 point. And then I will one click and I will type text glitch. And as you can see the color I have is a white color. So now I will uh, switch back to my move tool and I will put it in the center like this. Alright, now as I mentioned earlier, uh, we're gonna use this document as a template, which is mean that we're gonna use it to apply the same glitch animation on other texts without having to go back and reply every step that we're gonna use for this uh, document. Alright, so which is mean that we're gonna need to convert this uh, text to uh, a smart object. So we'll right click and I will choose convert to smart object and this way we have it as a smart object which is mean that we can apply whatever filter or whatever effects we want without you know affecting the exact text or you know rasterize it so now i'm just gonna name it text original and then i'm gonna make a copy of it so i'm gonna press ctrl j and then i will take this copy and put it under the text original layer and i will hide the text original layer for now by one click on this eyeball icon in here and I will name this for text only like this all right now we're gonna apply a wave filter on it so I will go to filter distort and I will choose wave and as you can see in here in the wave uh, window uh, I will make sure that uh, the type is set to square and three in the number of uh, generators and for the wavelength i have one in the minimum and 999 in the maximum for the amplitude i have one in the minimum and 100 in the maximum and for the scaling i have 25 percent in the horizontal and one percent in the vertical and for the undefined areas i have repeated edge pixels and of course you can uh, always click on the randomize button to you know get different effects every time you do that but I'm just gonna keep it like this and hope it's okay and now we have this uh, effects in here and if it's happened that you didn't like this uh, wave effects you can always go back in the wave in here as you can see because it's a smart object this will allow us to go back and adjust our filter or our uh, you know whatever in here that we have so I can just double click on this wave in here and as you can see it will open the wave window and you know you can make whatever adjustments you want or you can you know uh, one click on the randomize for a bunch of times to get different effects but for me I'm just gonna keep it like this and I will close this alright now we have the wave in here applied for uh, these tags now I'm gonna uh, make three copies of this uh, layer so I'm just gonna Press Ctrl J three times. One, two, three. And now we have three copies of uh, the text in here. So I'm just gonna select the three of them by pressing Ctrl and one click like this. And then I'm gonna put them under the text layer. And I will hide this text layer for now by one click on this eyeball icon. And then I will rename this one to red. And the second one to green. And the third one to blue 
and as you might guess it we're gonna create the rgb split for this text so i'm uh, gonna hide uh, the blue and the green layer and this will leave us with the red and then i will double click on it to open the layer style dialog and i will uncheck the green and the blue uh, channels in here and this will leave only the red and we'll turn the text red and that's what we want and i will press ok all right now we'll go to filter other and i will choose offset and for the offset in here i'm gonna put plus 15 in the horizontal and minus 5 in the vertical and for the undefined areas make sure that repeat edge pixel is selected and press ok all right now we'll go back to filter again and this time i'm gonna choose blur and i'm gonna choose motion blur and i will keep the angle set to zero and for the distance i'm gonna put 15 pixels and i will press ok now i'm gonna put down the opacity to around 70 percent now I'm gonna hide the red layer and I will make the green layer visible and again I will double click on it to open the layer style dialog and this time I'm gonna uncheck the red and the blue channels and this will leave us with the green and I will press ok and again I will go back to filter other and I will choose offset and for this one I'm gonna put 0 in the horizontal and plus 15 in the vertical and I will keep everything as the same and I will press ok and again I will go back to filter blur and I'm gonna choose motion blur but for this one I'm gonna put 90 in the angle and I will uh, keep 15 in the distance and I will press ok and again I'm gonna put down the opacity to 70% and this will done with the green now I'm gonna hide the green layer and make the blue layer visible and again I will double click on it to open the layer style dialog and I'm gonna uncheck the green and the red channels and I will press ok alright so I will do the same I will go to filter again other offset and this time I'm gonna put minus 15 in uh, the horizontal and plus 5 in the vertical and I will press ok and again I will go back to filter blur motion blur and i will change the angle to zero and i will keep 15 in the distance and i'll press ok now i'm gonna put down the opacity again so i'm gonna put 70 percent all right now we can go and make the green and the red visible and as you can see this will create this rgb split and with the text layer visible we will have something like this but I'm gonna uh, apply a little bit of blur on this text in here so we'll go to filter blur and I'm gonna choose Gaussian blur this time and I will give it around two to three pixels in the radius in here and I will press ok and as you can see now we have this really cool effect now I'm gonna put uh, these four layers in a group so I'm gonna select them all by pressing shift and then go in the last one in here and one click and this will select them all and I will press ctrl G and I will name this RGB split all right now it's time uh, to load the texture that we'll be using so I will go and open it in here and I will put it in the center and then I'm gonna resize it to fit with the canvas in here all right and then i will one click on this check mark all right now i'm gonna restorize it so i'm gonna right click and choose restorize layer and i will call it glitch and then i'm gonna take it and put it on top of uh, the text original layer and i will change the blending mode of it to linear light and as you can see it's a little bit too much so i'm gonna press ctrl l and then I'm gonna darken it in the mid tones in here. So I'm gonna take this middle one in here and put it into the right, just around 0.70. All right, and I'll press OK. Now I'm gonna put down the opacity to 30%. And this will create this really cool RGB shapes in here. 
this looks really good now we have all the layers to create our animation so I'm just gonna hide this glitch layer and hide the RGB split group and I will make the text original layer visible and now we have only this visible so now it's time for us to load our timeline if you can't find it just go to window and make sure that timeline in here is checked all right and in this middle button in here make sure that create frame animation is checked instead of create video animation and then one click on it all right now we have a frame in here that is corresponded of what we have visible on our layer panels in here so now we have this frame that it has zero second in the timing so I'm gonna change it to one second instead and for the looping option I'm gonna make sure that it's set to forever all right and then I'm gonna create a new frame by one click on this new frame icon in here and this will create us a second frame but I'm gonna change the timing of it to 0.2 seconds all right now we don't have anything going on with the first frame and the second frame so I'm gonna make some changes I'm gonna make sure that I'm selecting the second frame and I will make the glitch layer visible and I will hide the text original layer and I will make the RGB split group layer visible instead as you can see now if I go back to the first frame it will go from this to this all right and I'm gonna create a third frame by one click on here and this time I'm gonna hide the glitch texture in here and I will make the text original layer visible but I'm gonna set the opacity to 40% and this will make it fade with the original layer all right now I'm gonna change the, the timing of this uh, third frame to no delay all right now it's time for us to preview this uh, animation so I'm just gonna select the first frame and I will hit this little play button in here and as you can see we have this really cool frame that it will loop forever all right I think it looks good now we're gonna see if it's gonna work using another text so let me stop this and then I will go and double click on this text original layer and as you can see because it's a smart object it will open in a new uh, window in here but as you can see the document is set to fit with the text only so I'm gonna change that so I will go to image uh, canvas size and I'm gonna put 200 in the width and for the height I'm gonna put 400 and in here make sure it's set to uh, percentages instead of pixels all right and I'll press ok and this will make uh, the document way more bigger so we can you know uh, type whatever we want in here so now it's time for us to change this text so we'll double click on it and I'm gonna type subscribe all right and I'm gonna make sure that it's set to center all right and then I'm gonna save it so we can either just close this and click yes to save or you know you can go to file and click save whatever you want all right so I'm just gonna close it and as you can see now we have the text changed now it's time to preview it again so I'm just gonna uh, play it uh, in here and as you can see the same glitch animation is applied for it too all right now it's time to export this uh, GIF image so I'm just gonna stop it in here and then I will go to file export and I'm gonna choose save for web legacy all right so let me fit it in view and in here make sure that GIF in here selected and also make sure it's set selective and uh, for uh, the, the algorithm of the dither make sure it's set to no dither and in the colors I'm gonna keep it 256 because it's only three frames it's not that much and for uh, the matte uh, colors I'm gonna put none and uh, for uh, the, the percentage of the size I'm gonna put 50% because I don't want it to be that big and as you can see now we can preview it in the web browser so I'm just gonna one click on this preview button 
and there we go we have a really good GIF animation with 61 kilobytes uh, size which is really really small all right so let's close this browser and let's save it and I'm gonna name it glitch text and I'm gonna hit save and now I'm gonna go and preview it in here and as you can see it's a GIF image that is ready to be published all right and one last thing uh, make sure that you saved uh, your uh, documents so just go to file and click save as and you know save it on whatever name we want let's name it glitch template and hit save and this way we can find your PSD set whenever you want to apply this effect to other texts if you want and that would be all for this tutorial i hope that you enjoyed and you like this video and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day thank you for watching